What is up Nephilim? This is the Chig coming at you with another D3 build guide. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite necromancer farming builds. Very close second. Um, the Tragul's Blood Nova set. So this is the T16 variant. Uh, before we go into it though, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Anything you do to help out the channel for free. And don't forget we are having a giveaway as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. How you enter is being subscribed to the channel like and comment on any of the videos where it's mentioned and for each video that you like and comment that it is mentioned you'll get an entry into the giveaway so let's hop right into it we are using five of the tregul set and the mantle of channeling the mantle of channeling while channeling siphon blood you deal 20 percent increased damage and take 25 percent decreased damage so here we go this one's strength not rolled at all for me it just it's there um we are wearing the hands, the legs, the head, the chest, and the feet of the Tragul set. Um, I've not rolled any of this yet, um, except for that, because I was using that on something else. Um, so yeah, this is just all the stuff that I picked up while I was playing looking for pieces for you guys, and I happened to get a Primal Briggs Wrath, which is amazing. It's pretty cool. Um, it's really only used for speed sets, but it's really neat. Um, so yeah, two set. Blood Rush and Siphon Blood gain the effect of every rune. Your life spinning abilities no longer cost essence. While at full life, your healing from skills is added to your maximum life for 45 seconds, up to 300% more. We get super tanky, super quick. Your life spinning abilities deal 10,000% increased damage, and your healing from skills is increased by 100%. So this is a super, super easy, let's just do this and not even have to pay attention to the screen building, uh, farming build. Haunted Visions, Simulacrums now drains your life, but you heal constantly and they can now duplicate everything and they last forever, so they're going to be blood noving. We're using Warzeki and Arm Guards for the movement speed. Every time you destroy an object, you gain a short burst of speed. Gold Wrap, game armor for every gold you pick up for 5 seconds. Crispin Sentence, you deal extra damage to slowed enemies or triple that if they are CC'd in another way. We do have dislocation, so we can stun if we need to burst something down. Funerary Pick. Siphon Blood drains blood from two additional targets. Each target takes increased damage from you unless there's only one target, and then it gains double the damage instead. And this lets our uh, damage bonus from Siphon Blood stack up twice instead of once. So 20 per stack instead of 10 per stack. And then Iron Rose. Attacking with Siphon Blood has a 100% chance to cast a free Blood Nova after cumulatively losing 10 of your life. Your Death Nova deals 49% increased damage for 60 seconds, stacks up to 10 times. So we're just spamming that, we're doing crazy, it's it's super fun. Um, the Iron Rose is what enables the build, it's amazing. Blood Tithe Blade, Death Nova deals 400% increased damage for every enemy within 25 yards, up to 25 enemies. The bigger the pack, the bigger the boom. Stewart's Greaves, we're using these for movement speed. You get 100% movement speed for 10 seconds after using Blood Rush. Our Blood Rush is up constantly, we are zooming. We're of Royal Grandeur, so we can take off the shoulders and put on five pieces. We're using Aura of Frailty, so Briggs Wrath is just pulling everything to us because it's an Aura. Death Nova, we never cast this, but it is there so it gets the correct rune. Spend Health, Unleash a Blood Nova that deals damage. Blood Rush, Molting, um, doesn't matter which one because you get all of the runes. Siphon Blood Power Shift, doesn't matter which one because you get all the runes. Bone Armor Dislocation gives us 30% damage reduction and stuns all enemies hit for 2 seconds. And then Simulacrum Blood and Bone, so we have two Simulacrums. So they're both casting our Blood Novas. Standalone, we are getting 80% increased armor because we are going to have two minions. Spreading Malediction, we're going to get 1% extra damage for every mob that's around us because of the um, Aura. Final service, just in case we get one tapped, and then swift harvesting for 15% increased attack speed on Siphon Blood. So let's go ahead and do a Nephilim Rift. I already have my Simulacrums out because I've already done a couple because I just really enjoy this build. Alright, so you're going to dash and you're going to run. And get up your stacks and then, yeah. Um, so anybody who's never seen any of the T16 content I put out, I do not pick up legendaries unless they are primal because I don't really need them. Um, I probably should for this build because I would actually like to push with this build, but that's just where I'm at. Um, so stun them, pop them, and roll, right? Like, this is just super easy. You, wow, okay. Um, yeah, you just look for density, you hit it. Like, you don't even have to, like... You don't even have to think. You can literally, if you would like, to play this build this way, um, you can just hold down Siphon Blood 
and just hit whatever gets near you and then you kill it right like that's really it um super easy to play super easy to put together um none of the parts are particularly hard to find or particularly rare um and it is a good transition into the LOD Blood Nova build, which is my favorite build just because I like LOD stuff because it shows that you put the effort into uh, putting the build together as good as you can. Um, other than that, man, this is just super, super chill Netflix and kill. Like, you can't beat this. Um, I mean, it's, it's super fast. It's super effective. You get to um basically never die um because like even if you don't have like you don't need gold wrap for this i just put gold wrap on because i didn't want to craft the guardian set because i'm running low on mats right like you could literally be even stronger than you are you could have like six million hp like you could just be insane right like it's see a current well you can have more than six million because i have seven million and i don't even have guardians on so that tells you anything um yeah you can just pop the guardian bang eight trillion he died we'll pick up the, the loot super easy key farming roll with it guys super easy super fun it just pulls them to you and you blow them up um and the play style is really fun and once you get big stacks and you blow them up you'll giggle it's great um anyways hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget about the giveaway and um I'll catch you guys in the next one.